from the Fox 5 Studios. This is the Red Zone Sports Show. UNLV football should be ranked. We should be in uh, bowl season. We should be competing for championships. That's what this place should be. It's an honor, really. Um, and we, we done worked our butts off all year. So, you know, we go keep going strong, keep working hard, and, you know, hopefully that call come through. And when we get that call, we go execute. Las Vegas, get ready for another championship game in our city. This will be the third title game in the past six months here in Titletown, and UNLV will be looking to clinch their first ever Mountain West title when they host Boise State at noon on Saturday. The championship game will air right here on Fox 5, and tickets are already on sale right now, starting as low as $20. Rebel Nation, Barry Odom needs you to fill Allegiant Stadium this Saturday as the Rebels are on the verge of making history at UNLV. UNLV. Welcome into the best college football show in the country, the Fox 5 Rev Zone. I'm your host, Paloma Villacana, joined by first year head coach Barry Odom, who is making history here in Las Vegas, wrapping up the regular season nine and three and getting ready to host Boise State in the Mountain West title game this Saturday at noon. Coach, the anticipation was at an all time high last night as you guys finished in a three way tie with Boise State and San Jose State. But talk about how your team has earned this opportunity. Hey, look at the course of the season and and the way that the schedule laid out we knew that if we would just continue to improve play our best football and then get in a chance an opportunity in the month of November to to have a chance to compete for a championship that that we could control that and unfortunately we didn't win the game Saturday but we also know if you look at the body of work and the opportunities that we have created um, we didn't want to leave it to chance we wanted to go ahead and win it and win it outright but uh, we're excited for the opportunity and our and our guys understand uh, how important uh, what they've done up to this point and what is about to take place for us in our program. Coach, I want to show you just how awesome Rebel Nation was last night. Over 25,000 at Allegiant Stadium tailgating for the regular season finale game. San Jose State handed you guys the first home loss of the season, 37 to 31. But how could you feel the crowd's energy last night at Allegiant Stadium? Yeah, it was sure exciting for, for our team and we could feel the energy. Uh, you know, it was a little bit different feel when we pulled up to the stadium in a good way. Uh, so thankful for all the the fans that came out and have continued to support our team and we, we know that this week you know on Saturday at, at 12 o'clock it'll be our biggest crowd it'll be our loudest crowd and we're going to uh, do everything we can to play our best ball for our town for our city and for a chance to compete and win a championship. <laughs> The Spartans come out fast. Siobhan Cordero with time connects with Sam Olson. Olson is wide open. Nothing but green for Olson. The Spartans open the game with a 56 yard score and jump on the board first. Rebels looking to respond, but Jacob De Jesus loses the ball on the kickoff return. And just like that, the Spartans get the ball back. UNLV's defense would hold San Jose State to a field goal, a 25 yard kick by Kyler Halverson, and San Jose State leads 10 0. All San Jose State in the first quarter. Cordero with a handoff to Kyrie Robinson. Robinson finds a gap and he's gone. A 25 yard rushing touchdown, and San Jose State extends their lead 17 zip over UNLV. Rebels respond on the next drive. Jaden Mayava hands it off to the freshman running back, Jet Thomas, who jets into the end zone. Rebels trail San Jose State 17 to 7 after one. Second quarter, Siobhan Cordero and former San Jose State quarterback Nick Nash were clicking early at Allegiant Stadium. Nash picks up the first down, and the Spartans would settle for another field goal, extending their lead 20 to 7 over UNLV. Later in the second, it's the senior running back Vincent Davis Jr. that brings a spark on offense. A 61 yard run is the juice the offense needed in the first half. The 61 yard run would lead to Jose Pisano icing a 34 yard field goal and the Rebels trail the Spartans 20 to 10 at halftime. 
Rebels get the ball to start the second half and come out with a bang. Jaden Maiava throws up a 68-yard bomb to Ricky White on play number one of the first half. Massive spark for the Rebels to open up the second half. Three plays later and Jaden Jet Thomas is in the end zone for his second score of the night. The Rebels make it a three-point ball game trailing San Jose 20 to 17. Spartans respond on the next drive. Codero flexes his arm and airs it out 51 yards to Nick Nash. Nash with an incredible catch and San Jose State is in the red zone. Three plays later, Codero would find a wide open Isaac Jernigan in the corner of the end zone and it's a shootout at Allegiant Stadium. Spartans on top 27 to 17. After another San Jose State field goal and a missed UNLV field goal, the Spartans would score again. Third and two San Jose State at the 40 yard line. Kyrie Robinson takes the handoff and he's off to the races. A 40 yard run by Robinson and the Spartans extend their lead 37 to 17 in the fourth quarter. UNLV fights back on the next drive. Third and goal Rebels at the two yard line. It's the freshman Jet Thomas with touchdown number three on the day. UNLV trails San Jose State 37 to 24 with 645 to play. Jada Maiava continues to execute in the fourth quarter from one one young rebel to another. Mayava connects with the true freshman Corey Thompson Jr. who scores his first career touchdown at UNLV. It's a one score game. UNLV trails San Jose State 37 to 31 with 127 to play. Next drive UNLV's defense comes up big on third down. Fred Tompkins and Jonathan Baldwin stuffs Quali Conley. The Rebels get the ball back with one minute to play. It's fourth and six. Mayava throws left to Corey Thompson Jr. No dice. San Jose State would hand UNLV their first home loss of the season, 37 to 31. Continue to be more consistent. Third downs, we got to get off the ball. We, we're in a lot of third downs and didn't get off the ball, and that doesn't help our team, doesn't help the offense. Uh, we also got to play off the offense when they go score. We got to get stopped. stop. Uh, we just got to be better. We'll hear more from Jackson Woodard tonight on the Reb Zone, but want to talk about a bright spot for you guys on offense. Your freshman running back is a stud, Coach Odom, Jaden Thomas, turning on the Jets, scoring three rushing touchdowns last night. He is the only freshman in the nation to have 12 rushing touchdowns this season. We talked so highly about him during fall camp as him kind of flying under the radar for you guys. How impressed are you with the young freshman? Yeah, he has had a great year, and, and we've, we've blocked well, number one, but also his vision is probably his best characteristic you know there's a number of times that it may be cloudy when he gets the ball and then you know he's got enough patience to be able to find where he needs to go either the cutback or or bounce it to the field and uh, tremendous talent a great worker and uh, has such a bright future for us we're, we're certainly excited about what he has done the future is bright for your program we've got a lot of young guys that are making big time plays and you know Corey Thompson another freshman that stepped in yesterday and, and made some big time throw or catches and and then run after catch and um, it, it's our job again we we talk about getting those guys in the program we feel like that we've recruited at a high level with this last year's class and some of those things are starting to show up but they also they've got great leaders in the receiver room with Ricky White and Seneca McKee and they, they've got guys to understand what they need to do from a habit standpoint to be able to get in position to play well on game day. Yeah, the seniors no doubt leaving a great legacy here at UNLV with the young stud right there, Jada Jet Thomas. Well, it's been a breaking record season for UNLV's offense, scoring over 40 points in six games this season. Coming up next, we're going one on one with the Rebels tight end, Kaleo Balongai, who has had a big year with the Scarlet and Gray, scoring touchdowns in back to back games. Kaleo opens up to us on how hard this team has been working to bring Las Vegas another title. You're watching the best college football show in the country. The Red Zone returns after the break. 13th play of the drive here. And it's a touchdown. Balling out the tight end. His first career touchdown. Oh, it was great. It was great. You know, getting that, get it, finally getting the box after, you know, a while. Um, and even just pushing it forward for the team. Like, it was the momentum. We, we needed that and just getting in the box for our team and, push our offense forward. It was it was great. To, it was a great feeling for sure. Nothing like scoring your first career touchdown at Allegiant Stadium. The six foot six junior tight end has shined this season, scoring touchdowns in back to back games against Wyoming and Air Force, feeling the love and support from Rebel Nation and his number one fan, his mom. You know, me and mom, uh, you know, since the beginning, started playing football when I was eight and 
You know, it's always been, I've heard it from the stands from eighth grade, high school to college. I could hear her screaming, you know, you know, and go Kaleo, stuff like that. And, you know, every week is a check in, uh, just seeing how my mind is, how my body's feeling, and spiritually, she, she, helps, she holds me down for sure. Ballin Guy has consistently gotten better each week as Coach Marion continues to dial up big time plays for the Rebels' big tight end. Not a lot of a lot of us have seen, you know, the way he runs offense. So when he came in and we were getting it down, it's you know, it's he's creative with it. And each week we know it's gonna be something new and it's gonna be something interesting and something fun for us to run. You know, we have fun with the offense. He, he lets us know every day that you know it's, it's hard work, it's being tough, but you. Got to have fun too. Having fun and working hard has produced a record breaking season with first year head coach Barry Odom, but the job's not done. Bell and Guy and his Rebels are on the brink of accomplishing what they've set out to do since August 1st. Bring this program its first Mountain West title. It's the world, you know, for, for me, for my goals and my team goals, um, and all the guys in there, just it would be surreal for sure. Best part of the Reb Zone, getting to know these players and their families and seeing them at Allegiant Stadium. Coach Odom Kaleo has been such a spark for you guys down the stretch of the season. What have you seen from him as of late 297 yards and two touchdowns this season? Yeah, just a guy that you can count on, you know, in point of attack blocking, but then also that's opened up a number of things for a tight end position in the past game. He's And he's made some crucial catches for us. Third and fourth down conversions, obviously now getting into the end zone, the big play at Air Force, over 80 yards. Uh, all of those things have really added to the success of our offense. And I think his role will continue to grow in, in what we're doing offensively. Well, coming up next, we'll hear more from the UNLV captain, Jackson Woodard, on what he wants to see this week from his defense as UNLV was down 17 to zero in the first quarter last night against San Jose State. It'll be another battle this Saturday between the Rebels and Broncos with a Mountain West title on the line. The Red Zone will be right back. Last time we came out and won, this time we didn't. We didn't do enough to win this game. Uh, and that starts with me and continue to be more consistent. Third downs, we got to get off the ball. We, we're in a lot of third downs and didn't get off the ball, and that doesn't help our team, doesn't help the offense. Uh, we also got to play off the offense when they go score. We got to get stopped. Uh, we just got to be better. Like we heard from Jackson Witter, just the consistency he wants to see from, from your defense moving forward. You're going up against another explosive offense this week against Boise State. What do you want to see from your defense this week? Yeah, I think we understand the, the errors we made. They're, they're all correctable. Um, so so that's, that's a positive. Um, we had some guys that, that um, even coming up short, they, they played some good ball with us. We gave up a, a down the field throw. We were in really good position, missed time the jump. The um, early on the, the blown coverage, you know that that's we 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 can't give those up and and play good defense. And then, you know, Jackson hit on it. Our third down efficiency on defense, we've got to be better. There were times we had them in third down behind the sticks, and and they kept converting. Um, and eventually, you got to get a stop and get off the field. So we'll get those things corrected. We got the guys to do it, and I know they'll be hungry to to rebound and play really well. I want to talk about the return of Jonathan Baldwin last night and possibly the return of Jeray Williams, how that's an impact for you guys. Yeah, I think you know both of those guys have really uh, a lot of game experience, uh, the maturity, the mature competitors, the, the preparation that goes into that, and then you know a little bit of the comfort with them on the field for everybody else around them. You know, it was it was great to have Jono back uh, this past weekend, and then you know Dre's getting closer and closer, and maybe can get some uh, in-game work. Uh, this week we'll see how, how preparation goes, but but certainly when you get you know guys that that were starters, if you get those guys back in the lineup, that helps you out defensively. Yeah, UNLV looking to play their best ball this Saturday when they host Boise State in the title game at noon, and they're going up against another elite running back. They'll have a another test in front of them to stop the run. Well, what an opportunity for UNLV to host the Mountain West title game this Saturday at Allegiant Stadium, and this is a city that likes to have championship parades on the Las Vegas Strip. Barry Odom needs you to pack Allegiant Stadium this Saturday. We'll break down the seven and five Broncos who are rolling into Allegiant Stadium on a three game win streak.
The stage is set at Allegiant Stadium. Las Vegas is about to witness three championship games in one year with the Golden Knights, Aces, and UNLV football. The Rebels are on the verge of accomplishing what they set out to do on August 1st, bring this program their first Mountain West title. Kickoff is set for noon on Saturday with tickets starting as low as $20. And Saturday's title game will be aired right here on Fox 5. It's the biggest game of the year here at Allegiant Stadium as UNLV is getting ready to host Boise State and coach we talked about the anticipation yesterday of waiting for the results to come out now you guys know who you'll face Boise State on a three game win streak heading into your uh, stadium with wins over New Mexico Utah State and Air Force the last time UNLV has played Boise State was back in 2019 what are you seeing from this year's Broncos well, I think really down the stretch here at least on the offensive side they're they're really have come into their own the quarterback is is a great talent they've got two really good running backs again they're good up front and then they've got skill on the outside and then defensively they're aggressive big up front you know really really active on the line of scrimmage and then I, I think they've got great cover guys that are very physical and the linebackers are, are some of their best players so a complete team uh, as you would expect in playing in a championship game you're going to get their best and and we'll prepare and, and we'll play our best game and uh, what a great day on Saturday it will be for the city of Vegas. Yeah, we're taking out taking a look at highlights from UNLV's 38 to 13 loss against Boise State at Sam Boyd Stadium. But now the Rebels are in their shiny new home at Allegiant Stadium. When it comes down to the focus for your team, all the buzz and excitement, you've told me this season that your team keeps blinders on. What will the focus be for your guys this week? I think we, we all in the locker room and, and the meeting rooms, they know what's at stake. So I think it will get down for us to to really remove everything other than being in the moment for that practice to prepare as well as we can. Uh, the better we prepare, the better we practice, the better we can teach the game plan of the week, then it provides confidence for our kids. And if you are a competitor, you get in this environment, it really doesn't matter other than your focus on playing one snap at a time. And, and if we can continue that mindset and that approach, we'll play our best ball. Jaden Maiava has executed for you all season long, especially in the fourth quarter down the stretch last night. What do you expect to see from your young freshman this year? Yeah, this he's <laughs> he, he will be excited to play. And again, for the quarterback position, how important it is for them uh, to be steady, to be stoic, to make plays. Uh, but the 10 guys around him need to play really well as as well. And that, that makes his job easier. So uh, look forward to the game plan you know, finishing that up and then get on the practice field and, and get to work. Well, it's been nothing but young rebels for UNLV this season, leading the way to a nine and three overall record. But coach, want to ask you, it's been an electric, you know, record breaking year at Allegiant Stadium with the fans and the crowd. Want to ask you what it's been for you as, as a head coach to coach inside uh, college football's best stadium. Yeah, what a great environment. And, and, you know, it's a little bit surreal every time that we pull in the loading dock area to get out that, that that's our home and uh, there's not a finer facility in all of college football. Uh, we embrace that. We understand how valuable it is to keep the home field advantage and, and our kids will respond and it's been a lot of fun for me personally. All right. Tickets are starting as low as $20 this Saturday at Allegiant Stadium. UNLV is getting ready to host Boise State in the title game, a noon kickoff, which will be broadcasted right here on Fox 5. Get your tickets now as this is the biggest game of the year and this is Title Town. Thank you so much, Barry Odom. We'll see you next Sunday on the Red Zone.